A screen in basketball occurs when an offensive player attempts to block a defensive player away from the man they're guarding. And screens can be used to create space for teammates to catch or throw a pass, attack the basket, or shoot a jump shot. There are many different types of screens, uh, the first one being ball screen, which is probably the most popular. And this is just when the screener goes to set a, a screen on the defender guarding the ball. A back screen would be the screener sets the screen on the defender's backside. A down screen occurs um, on the perimeter. The perimeter player will go down and set a screen for the uh, teammate on the lower block for them to pop out. There's cross screen where it can occur on either the bait or block or perimeter and the player just will go and screen the defender of their teammate across from them. And then also the flare screen, which is a type of screen set on the perimeter where the screener screens the backside of the defender away from the ball and then the cutter flares to the open spot on the perimeter for a skip pass, which will likely lead to a three point shot. How to set a screen? You need to make sure you find the body of the defender you want to set a screen on. Your body positioning is based on the angle you want your teammate to go. So your hips and butt should be positioned, positioned in the direction you want your teammate to move. As you approach the defender to set the screen, be careful not to run into them or you'll be called for an offensive foul. So just try to leave some space between you and the defender. The defender may run into you so to protect your body, you should cross your arms like this on your chest or put your arms in front of you with your hands meeting at your waist. Some cues for sending a basketball screen will be keep your feet a little wider than shoulder width apart. It's very important to have a wide, strong base to hold your ground. Your hands, like I said before, your hands should be crossed across your chest in front of you or at waist level. Uh, the screener needs to be stationary as the screen is set. Otherwise, you'll be called for an offensive foul. Your body should be vertical and you shouldn't be leaning, leaning forward or backwards. And you should be square to the defender. Uh, the middle of the screener's chest should be in line with the defender's shoulders and hips. Uh, some common errors um, of setting a basketball screen would be the timing of the screen with the person receiving the screen. So if these two players aren't in sync, um, an offensive foul is more likely to be called. So to fix this, both the player using the screen and the player setting the screen need to be on the same page when working on that timing. Uh, a lack of communication on the screen you sh if you're going to set a screen, you should show a fist and talk to your teammates when you're going to set a screen. Uh, the be because the better the communication, the better the screen is going to be. Uh, not making contact. Make sure that you just hold a wide and low base for about one to two seconds to let that contact be held to give your teammate the best chance to get around it. Not being set. Make sure you're set before making contact. The screener should have active feet and a low wide base. Um, extending your arms. Don't extend your arms into the defender. Just get set. Just get set and let the, pl the defender slide into you. Um, so all these errors can lead to what I said before is, is an offensive foul or an illegal screen. And this is just when a player who sets a screen is on the move uh, at the point of contact, doesn't have both feet on the floor at the point of contact, they're leaning in, extending their lower body, extending their arms, and then just not giving the defender um, space to avoid the screen. So like anything else, to be good at setting screens, it just takes practice and time working on it. Screening is a very important element of the offensive side of the game, and it's just a great way to help you score because players willing to set screens for their teammates will find themselves um, open and get just quality scoring opportunities. And every screen serves a purpose, whether it's to relieve ball pressure, to occupy the help defense, or just to create a scoring opportunity.